What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be playing some Iceborne Spiders. This is a control deck with uh, a lot of different flexible options that uh, reminds me of the Viego deck that I used to get to Masters. Obviously, this is a little bit more refined than that one because that one was day one of the patch. And it's just like a pretty cool deck that has like, again, like a lot of flexibility with it having three copies of Crawling Sensation, Elise, Vile Feast, and Hapless Aristocrat to all generate a ton of spiders and three copies of Brood Awakening. Generate a ton of spiders across the board and if you're able to find Iceborne Legacy, it can be like super strong mid-range value that like you can develop a lot of big units for very cheap amounts of mana. It's actually like insane how fast you can replenish your board and put on pressure on your opponent with a ton of great control tools such as a copy of Three Sisters, Three Vile Feast, we have a One of a Despair, Three Vengeance as well, a couple copies of Withering Whale, so we have like a very flexible package with some of the premier Shadow Isles removal with um, like again that good mid-range strategy. We also have Trundle as well with the buff of going to 4-6 that is like almost impossible to like kill at least on turn 5. Like he's always just trading for value or getting that chip damage in, which the chip damage is very important when running two copies of Atrocity to close out the game. Two copies of Commander Ledro, so it's like even if they do manage to go card for card with us and like stop our uh, threats from getting through, or maybe we didn't draw Iceborne and games like that, which does happen. We have Ledros, which you can just get them straight down to like if you've done any damage before, uh, almost straight into Atrocity range which is like a very nice way to close out the game in those situations. And obviously, since Ledris just keeps coming back to your hand in like really grindy matchups, um, just being able to like outvalue them uh, constantly with Ledros is just huge. Um, had a lot of success with this deck. It was pretty solid into like most of the stuff I was playing against. So recommend you guys give this one a shot, but that's gonna do it as far as the deck tech. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys leave a comment subscribe if you haven't I'm trying to get to that 2000 subscriber mark so i'm gonna annoy you guys a little bit more but appreciate all the support i've gotten as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out everybody okay up against ash leblanc vengeance has got to be good i think i like is that and the vile feast to start off with Normally the game doesn't go far enough for Ledros to get us out of it, but if it does, I'll take it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, you could play an archer here. We'll take the three damage, and then I probably just vile feast if I can get a kill, and then open up for the attack. A tribute to the spider god. The trap is set. Gonna go for the draw here. And if he develops, I can play Hapless Aristocrat and possibly have him attack. Yeah. This could die, and then we level up Elise. So many vengeances, too. Like. Just realize that we found all of them.
They went for the big save on this. And I have so many Vengeances in hand again. Oh, with that as the play... We're just gonna Fury this. I'm down to just fizzle it. Obviously can't Brittle Steal this. Steal six. Oh yeah, that's the arrow. It's kind of cool how it flips <laughs> out of the draw. Can see the Nebastian border from here. Yeah, obviously if we ever play them Ash again. In front of me. And I was saying before that it might not be a game where Ledros comes into play. But look at this now. Checking to see if that was one... That wasn't a lease or not. Not though. A true Fragorian welcome. They're out there. I'll spot them. Block here, this could block here, and then this value blocks. Oh, just keep the Elise alive. So we have some challengers developed. Ledros can obviously pour some actions out of him. Exactly, just makes him use the arrow. So he could Reckoning. And then we have Vile Feast to set up Blocker. And we still have Vengeance in hand, so... Big fan of that. There's that Reckoning I talked about. I want to see him develop one more thing before I go for this. Sure. Get Trundle out here. Line up. Now the Trundle can block into this. Get a block onto this as well.
an ice quake actually looking low key. I don't know if I ever go for it. Oh, it's super low key though. It literally kills everything on the board if I challenge this. Especially if he's developing the way he is, man. It will kill our own trundle though. Loving this ice quake. Only thing is here, I don't have enough mana for Vengeance plus the Whale. So I have to be selective. These old eyes still seem more clear. Surprised to see me. Look up for Reefers. Like, I think we're just stabilizing, like so hard i'd be i'd be surprised if he could come back from this third ash but even then we have like vengeance for it you know lost my train of thought this forces a freeze or block uh, not attacking with both was a little odd. I'm just assuming he had an answer for. Yeah, exactly. And I want to just keep as many units up. No nope. other ash. Glad to see it. A glimpse is pretty cool. All the ashes are gone. <laughs> no need to worry about that. And it's like, if he doesn't kill us on this attack, I think we just win. Yeah, he knew. GG. GG. The triple vengeance hand, actually, each vengeance served his part. It was great. Okay, up against a Heimer Jace deck. Don't think like chip stuff like whale is going to be that good. Vengeance. Ah, yeah. I don't even, I don't think I want any of this end for this matchup. Hapless is fine. Can do some chump blocking for the most part. Found Iceborne. Let's get to work. Especially good if he wants to uh, make a trade here for some mana. Surprise if he did. Ooh, he did. Yeah, that's sweet. If he wants to, like, stop the Iceborne action, he needs to kill this spider right now. Because I can always do it in response later. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. Okay. Iceborne, here we come. Good. Uh, not sure about the workers, though. Coming through. 
think we want to stop this from like gaining too much value and then we also want to uh, keep this as a threat So what I'm gonna try to do here, he just goes for the production surge. So now I can do my play with like knowing that he won't be able to get a response off of it. Oh, I, I forgot about the uh, the mana he gets back, but I still go for this and then we can play crawling sensation. Just give us like a ton of power on this board. Trade, 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 one lives. It'd be worse. I feel like I'm just make this a 5-5 five, five actually and then go for the brood. And... <laughs> Brood making a ton of five, six, five spiders actually it seems hilarious. Whatever responds as you wish. I don't want to miss out on this opportunity. We'll do it preemptive. Um, yeah, he pushes a good amount of damage here, but again, just the spiders that we're about to have, barring denied, and I would make me cry, is is just gonna be like a lot, right? There it is. I almost like that the Elise doesn't drop leveled because Elise making more spiders I think is actually just going to be more valuable. And it's super funny that if this is how he blocks, he's putting himself into atrocity range of a singular spider. <laughs> actually hilarious. Like you heard me say that. Bundle oh. and elites. Can't play Heimer and a six mana spell, so he can't get like a elusive turret. So I feel like that'd be the only thing I be like super worried about at this point. I think we always want to drop Trundle this round too, just so we can get the, the pillar down. I'm waiting to see if the leveled up Jace comes down because that makes our plays really awkward. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, and now he gets to kill Elise too. But the thing I was more so worried about is if he's like able to play double shockwave. Which Whale will have us survive, but it'll be pretty dicey. Going down to Mystic at that point. Get to work. 
That's a lot of units, but... Hmm. I could also do it like this way. I don't know what the point of that would be. Get ready for a beat down. I like this, right? Because I keep full spell mana banked, and we'll have 12 mana. So I could wail to survive his attack. See, like, how he reacts to this. But I guess I could go for the just the atrocity off the rip. And then we have a way to survive if he counters this. And that's the game. No answer. Okay. Easy enough. Got him. Uh, I think there's some things I could have done differently for sure, but just him never having deny was good enough for me. Okay, up against Zareth Zillion. I think I keep Iceborne, maybe even Brood too. It's like pretty slow, but uh, if I could set up the other spiders, it's just like so powerful. That's going to be tricky, though. I think just stopping him from removing the units here is going to be more valuable. Sure, this will get vulnerable. But overall, yeah, like, before something like Zareth comes down, this just seems great. Still managed to push four damage there. I think I'm more than happy just playing all of this. Sure, Vulnerable Trundle. And like, the thing I'm debating here is whether or not I want to attack with this 3-3 and have it trade into the Rock Bear. Mm, as many Rock Bears as he has now. I think we just swing with these ones and it just puts on pressure. Great to me. Whoa, whoa. 
Like, I definitely don't mind just the crawling sensations here. It's a lot done for two mana. One mana, even. <laughs> Okay, the leveled up trundle oh my goodness he just has like such a solid board crazy and now that eight drops start coming into the mix is which like that's the part i'm the most worried about right now Ooh, or not that this See what he got as far as blocking is concerned and atrocity makes things very tricky. Oh, mini morph? Okay. From mine then, I see you, sir. This vile feast, take this out. Play another trundle probably too. King of trolls coming through. If he really doesn't have the eight drop in hand. Oh, I'm sure. There is a way to deal with it, actually. Since we have Troll Chant to spare. And like, uh... Oh, Vengeance is even better. I don't have to take the 8 damage. Do what you got. Elusive. I don't see Spell Shield, so... I could also go for this line, in case he has Hourglass. I think this is actually safer. Now if he has Hourglass, I can Vengeance. I don't know why I played Iceborne on Trundle, but whatever. Have deny, sir. Ooh, stress defense. Now that is a cute way to answer. And something I did not consider. Oh, that's so annoying. I mean, we have troll chant though, so I could, I could still always pop the spell shield.
third arsenal? That is the question. Or if you could just go wide enough to ruin our life. Pretty interesting that he wasn't able to there. I mean, there's no fearsome blockers at the moment. So yeah, I don't know. I think I got to just play Ledros here. I think just developing the wide board should be good. You tap below another arsenal. My guy's literally at one. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> Give it to me. His attack's still not doing much, I feel, so I think I'm good to still just, like, pass here. We're just gonna wail. <laughs> I'm over it. Because I think he's gonna try to, like, Stunlock my whole board, and then this plus that would kill. Is a cute play. I will give you that, sir. <laughs> is a cute line. Now that he's down to three mana, I I don't think we're dying here. <laughs> we're just gonna drag this to the ice pillar, and I don't think he has a response ever. Awesome. Not the cleanest game I've played, but clean enough. Um, I would never have played around stress defense, especially since I was playing that deck and it wasn't running it myself, but still super solid. Pretty happy with it. Okay, we are up against Pantheon Taric. Hmm. I could see Despair being good against Taric. Kind of like the other two options. I don't know about maybe Vile Feast wasn't a keep though. Especially like they have so many different buffs. I just like having a way to get a spider. That probably wasn't right ever. These old eyes still see far and clear. Yeah, I think we just always pass like. Most of the time, I think they want us to attack in and then they can just punish with Sharp Sight or something. This bear onto the dragon actually seems good too. The dragon gets really obnoxious. Goes for the buff to just deal extra damage. I don't even think that's worth I think using it on this unit that is actually sticking around makes more sense to me. But hey, if you want to just heal two, did it. For the homestead. Sure, just Ryan kill this. If he has chain vest or rangers resolve, it's just like is what it is. That's a 
huge punish. It kind of sucks that when it fizzles, it still draws it, but just getting rid of another target on that round seems good. He's only on one target so far. Boy, trundle down. Get some blocking in. That doesn't kill, like, just getting some more damage in on the Terex is fine. And obviously all the spiders getting buffed from this point seems good. I've got your back. So now he has a target for this. Doesn't go for the double draw. I find that somewhat interesting. Oh, now he does. <laughs> In a different way. With that, I think it's just going to be block with Avarosin and then block here. And Pale's not killing, so he has to really dig into this if he wants to get it. Oh, he doesn't. He's just trying to keep it alive. I get it. Now we're going to play Elise, and if he goes for the rally line, I mean, I just kill it with uh, Vengeance. And he probably just GG's after that, in my opinion. At least I think that B is right play. That plays around it. Let's perfectly fine with me. Now we can just Granite Vulnerable with the Ice Pillar. Keep the other stuff around for like more relevant threats. Inserted. Interesting, it's still killing. Oh, true. I guess it's like, do I even care if it lives? I don't know, we're gonna do it this way. I should have used it on Tarek if I was like thinking with my brain before, but we'll just use it now. It levels up, but still isn't like uh, something that's relevant. I don't know what the point of that was. I guess he has another one in hand. And he's 4 to 5 on Pantheon. Now that's where we might have a problem. That's where I think I'm going to go Apless into a glimpse and see if I can find like Troll Champ Vengeance or something. That, that I don't know. A little upset about that. Okay, Atrocity is great, <laughs> especially if he's trying to kill us. <laughs> I low-key just want to... He's played so many Guidings at this point, which I think is his only healing. I'm just going to play Ledros. Let's see what happens. If he has another Guiding, he has another Guiding. There it is. That's the that's the flashy way to end it. And actually the one with less responses, I think, overall too, because 
could always have strikes and buffs. 